How do I know if I'm marrying the right person? Last few days I've been wondering on one particular question and I keep asking my younger friends. They're all looking for a great relationship <laughs> and they keep wondering, oh, what sort of a partner should I marry? In any relationship, either you love that person or she loves you. There are occasions where you like somebody else also. So now you love that one person, you also love this person. On the second side, that person doesn't love you enough. But you are madly in love with the second person, but she is not even looking at you. Whom would you marry? Most successful relationship would be when the other person loves you so much. Don't miss that opportunity. And second one that I have understood in my life is this. Would I marry someone who is exact replica of me? Who thinks like me? Whose attitude is like mine? Whose hobbies are like mine? Whose anger is like mine? If I cannot tolerate myself, how can the other person where you say, oops, not me again. So we have to think uh, on this relationship aspect. In love relationship, there is always a time where you love so much, you seem to give everything from yourself. You go to movies together, jogging together. This is sharing. You have surrendered totally in that love. You have annihilated your own ego, your own personal life for the sake of others. And when you realize that, oh, I have given up everything and I love this person, then you start becoming protective and then the relation suffers. Once you become protective, that no more of this, now I have to have my own individualized life, then the problem begins. Because one person thinks that I have given everything. I don't even think of myself anymore. My whole life is all about the other. I sacrificed everything. When teamwork break down, there is no winning game left in life. Most important thing is also to accept the other person with all his or her imperfections. One evening, a little couple sat down near the water. I think that must be their favorite place. There was a bench there. They sat there, they shared their sandwiches, had a drink, of course water. <laughs> and then they got up, started walking peacefully. They were not talking, they were just, you know, holding each other's hand without a single word. Often people think you got to talk, you got to impress the other with the conversations. But I think in true relationship, you don't need to impress the other person. Wherever there is effort involved in impressing other, means you still have to work at your relationship in a different way. I think silence is the best way of expressing your love. I think it happens when your love relationship is mature to that level. I tell our young friends everywhere, it's okay that you're looking for a right partner, but focus more on yourself. All that you're expecting, would you be able to deliver yourself to the other? The way you are today, would you love yourself? So I would advise build your own empire inside, moral empire. Strengthen your moral muscles before you start expecting the same from the other.